agree. with a second grade <laughs> education. Now he's in a tuxedo politician. Okay. Politician. <laughs> yeah. What's good, good y'all? It's the Duma Shots React, and, and we're back, back with, with another, another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Yeah, yeah. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on, on the road, road to 100. 100. Okay. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The community of Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe, is the home of the former mayor, Niko Silapi Giani. Africa Jubaine also lives here. He is a former court reporter. The home of the Pisi Milusi Niklovu is but a short... <laughs> Whoa! I like that. I like that. That caught me off guard. Africa. Yeah. I know that's so much meaning behind why, but like now you got to ask the question like, why Africa? Mm. That's amazing. I've heard of like some... No. This is my first I haven't first heard time. of like a... Oh, wait. I have a cousin named America. We don't have to talk about this. <laughs> I do. Cool as heck, bro. It's cool. Africa Jubani. Come on, man. He's a vision resident. Cameraman. The home of Mimpisi Milusi Nindlovu is but a short drive away. He is an Inyanga, Milusi. a traditional healer. Milusi. And he uses time-tested techniques Milusi. to produce bountiful harvests. God will judge us of wrong things if people are suffering behind us. Yet we're in this world we should capacitate them so that they know, so that they can heal themselves, so that they've got a good life, healthy life, so that they can live longer. Yeah. Like People, yes, we fight, yeah. they forget all the indigenous knowledge which we have. And they're now in sort of slavery because of civilization. Because civilization, they planted this, yet they extract it, they don't use them as well. If you look at this, when water is flowing this side, water comes in, this hole, I will have to put manure here and mix with sand. He got a and system. When water comes in, it flows, this captures water. If it's full, water will flow this way and this will hold the water. When it's full, some of water moves this side and this one will hold. So it's, we call it water harvesting in a good pattern mm. so what will be going in holes rather than flowing it will come back we use manure otherwise we don't use chemical and the other advantage is that if we use chemical fertilizers it goes down my pole is down there which means I'll drink the same fertilizer which you are putting here we're trying to avoid so that we drink Natural water. Okay, not okay. So yeah. it's filtering out as we go back. You got a system. In the community, because it's color harris and soil, we should take use take use of the soil fertility and have perfect crops in a good time. That's what we do. Let me be let me pretend to be the big chief now. Hold Can on now. Um sit? so the gentleman that we just looked at, I think that system is amazing. I've usually seen people just form the, the dirt and, you know, filter the dirt out and get ready to plant seeds that way. Mm. And they put it all over the ground. Mm. This guy literally did every single hole. You can tell he did it by hand, mm -hmm. by shovel, something. But he literally went down there, hands and feet, you know what yeah. I'm saying, and got it up. Yeah, I, I've i only heard of, like, water harvesting, like, the ice. But I've never heard of the, the actual water. Control, too. Like, yeah, interesting. Yeah, filtering system. And I would like to, yeah, well, basically, that's what Without he said. Without the big machine. Without the big that. machinery. Wow. Man. Let's see. Get here, with his things put up here, with his traditional dressing, and this, what I have on my head, which is called Inlugula, Ooh, represents, in it's always any important 
important sign for an important man. They are both dairy cattle here. They are both bull cattle here. We have both male and female cows. Africa Jubanye retired to a simple village life. 150 kilometers from Bulawayo, he takes pride in preserving the traditional ways of the Ndbele, the tribe of the people who have farmed this land for centuries. We call that a traditional African cattle crawl, which is made of wood that are cut from the forest and that is made, it is actually the cattle enclosure at a village level. You would have seen, I have also my own scotch cut, I don't bore a scotch cut. At a village level, I'm, I'm quite self-sufficient. I have everything of my own. That's good. Equal my own tools, I don't borrow tools, I have tools of my own. Anything I do, I have my own tools to, to, to do. That's the way This is it. considered a rich man. Yep. And he, I'm not talking about finances. I'm talking about health, um, knowledge, the growth that he has created around him. Mm -hmm. He's retired. You know what I'm saying? This is a rich man. Yes, yes. I feel like when you have everything you need, you are rich. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't... I feel like the people who have money, like, who's wealthy, I feel like the quickest way to get broke is to always thinking that you need more of something. Mm -hmm. You just said he has knowledge. As long as you have knowledge, you have everything. Applied knowledge. Applied it though. Yeah. It's power. Yeah, yeah, Applied. yeah. Applied. Not just knowing things, but apply that knowledge. Big facts, yep. Yeah. You gotta be a wise man and look at what you got and see what you got, like literally. I mean I got a lot of cattle. You know, at times human resource, some people actually overlook that. Mm. But to empower people, uh, we have that spirit of unity, love amongst one another. That's the, uh, to me, is another uh, big achievement that I left, uh, I can say, a Lakers with cancer. The school that was supposed to take me to grade two was bent down mm. by the liberation, liberation fighters. Um, so I couldn't continue with my education. <laughs> and my, my auntie went to war and my two brothers, we, we lost a brother in, in, in war, he didn't make it uh, back to, to Zimbabwe. Uh, that on his own actually uh, made me to say no, but I think I, something is not, is not right in this country. That actually drove me to, uh, to, to, to politics. As I speak now, as I drive around town, as I walk around town, I hope I walk around with my chest out knowing that what I left behind it was an achievement. That's real good. That's yeah, real good. I With agree. a second grade education. <laughs> now he's in a tuxedo politician. Okay. Politicking. <laughs> yeah, he's killing it, bro. Yes, and left a legacy. And it seems, you know, his segment was a little bit shorter than the others. Mm -hmm. But it seemed like he left a good legacy. So y'all y'all tell us that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this was cool to see some of the people from Zimbabwe. Um, we have a lot more Zimbabwe videos on the way. They're just long. <laughs>
All right, so we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below. We'll see, see you soon. Peace. Peace.